Compared to like Salvation Armies or it's over there. I like your overalls, it's just sick. Oh, thank you. Where do you usually go first? Probably just like the hoodie and stuff. Oh, I thought those were jeans. Yeah, jackets and like pants and then t-shirts because t-shirts are always so annoying to go through. This knitted cardigan is insane. It's definitely a woman's piece. But the thread count on this is insane. It's so sick. How did you not? I don't know, but like the thread count is insane. It's way too small to me, no? Look how much work that was into it. So detailed. Has a little like open door too with the person. I didn't even That's notice so sick. that. Yeah, I need this thing. I'm getting this. This Goodwill had a Goodwill outlet, which is the bins. So we're gonna check that out. Obviously, people are gonna be sitting there, and, but eh, we can check it out. Maybe some people left some things. So I'm getting at the bins, got a real tree vest, vintage Hanes uh, crew neck, a zip up, and then this is the find of today. Pay for the trip, this bodega size large. Thank you for copying crew neck. Are you order at the front? So we came to this Thai place and we just got like the J special. I think it's like chicken, some kind of sauce, then rice, um, some cucumbers, tomatoes, and then some dumplings. So I just came, uh, I just got to Oklahoma. Look at this goose down camo jacket. And it takes off and it could be a vest too. But it's 14 bucks. It's kind of expensive. Size medium. If it was like an XL, then I would. It's kind of sick though. Oh, it's camo brand. Hmm. Maybe I'll try it on, see how it fits. Let's see what other camo jackets they got. This is nice, nice bomber. Work leisure, nice brown colorway. How much is it? It's nine bucks, 10 bucks. Has some stains though. Pacific Trail. Let's see. Sherpa vest. Look at these slippers, seven bucks, my size. Man, I don't know, I really don't need them. I don't know where I'd wear them, but these things are hard. So I guess it doesn't fit too bad. I looked them up, comps, the vest by itself sells for like 35, and all the ones that are listed don't have the sleeves. So for 15, I guess I could cop it, maybe get a nice fit pick and then post it for sale for 40 bucks. And then I don't know about these first slippers either. I gotta decide. Well, I probably should have not bought those, but eh, it is what it is. Like I said, I kind of collect camo. $15, I guess I can't complain uh, if it's worth 40. And then $7 for those slippers. I feel like those I kind of want to wear at ThriftCon. Um, Denver, you know, just wear them walking around. And I really got them because it reminds me of the what are the shoes? Um, Kerwin Frost. Like, I think he has some shoes like that. 
and uh, yeah, they're just wild slippers, so whatever, $7, but I wasn't even meaning to hit a thrift store, I was literally just on the way. Uh, we just made it to Oklahoma City, and that's the first thing I see, so I just popped in, is what it is. Came into a random thrift store. Look at all these Looney Tunes. Walmart Looney Tunes, that's all folks. $6.50 each. I don't know if they're vintage though. Let's check out these other clothes. Lots of pants. A lot of women's stuff too. I thought it was Patagonia, White Sierra. Got this sick double sided America. Love it or leave it here. Found this single stitch. I can't stand this feeling. Big Chevrolet Racing. And then embroidered Chevy Racing. I might leave this one though. I swear, Value Villages are the biggest thrift store. This is like a Walmart thrift store. But I guarantee you with all of these clothes, I won't find a single thing. But let's be optimistic. Let's hope I can find something. Well, I guess uh, Plato's Closet taking a long time kind of was a blessing in disguise because it made me go to the nearest thrift store. I'm getting this for myself. It's on sale. $2.98. This Mosey Oak. Really nice long sleeve. It's an XL, but it'll be nice for me. Found this really nice print Mardi Gras single stitch. New Orleans, $1.98. And then the find of today, Polo Sport. I think it says $2.98, but it might be $7.98. We have the America's All-American Polo Ralph Lauren baseball jersey. I haven't looked up the comps, but if I had to guess, this is probably easily a $100 bill. Just found these camo pants, size XL, sadly, but $7. They're so nice. I feel like I gotta grab them. I've never really seen this print too often, but this is a nice one. I wish they would fit me though. XL's gonna be way too big. I could probably wear them with the belt though. So this was behind the counter, this reversible Harley Davidson, like Letterman style jacket. It's priced at $40. Um, I asked if they can do some kind of discount or whatever. She said she can give me 15% off. I'm trying to show you, there was a Harley tag on the inside. Just don't remember where I saw it. Has this Harley tag. I've never seen it before. I'm not sure if it's authentic to be honest, but it's kind of sick. Quick thumbnail with the thrift. Best thrift. <sighs> so, like I said, we uh, we ended up hitting gold with that. You know, not only that Polo Sport baseball jersey that I've never seen with the Americans on it. But then that Harley Davidson jacket, uh, we ended up paying $32, I believe, after discount. Not bad. I could probably honestly sell that jacket for $50, $60 on the minimum just because it's reversible uh, Leatherman style jacket. But yeah, I'm, I got three bags of stuff and I don't know where it's going to fit. So let's figure it out.